guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episodes 9 and 10 of Simpho Gear. It is 11 o'clock at night. I was supposed to do this, like, five hours ago, <laughs> but I was looking at stuff on the internet, and I got a little distracted and ish, and so yeah, I'm now really doing one show today and another show tomorrow. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 and 3, 2, one go. Okay. Yeah. Just a slow start. Mm hmm. Is that adult Supasa or baby? No, it's not. <laughs> See, it's worse because now. Last week, I found out this series is a damn game. And it's a gotcha game. You know how I am with gotcha games. I'm a home for them. I started playing it, but I haven't played it since, like, last week because I've been busy with other freaking games. It's the same thing. I said about Fate, and I haven't played Fate in, like, a month. Good. Okay, so now that we know that the swan song, no one can be immune to it. You, you just immediately either you die or you just still live, but you're still upset or affected or something by it. I'm like, because you know, I really thought that Hiriki would have been like so immune to it. Be like, oh, okay, Ali Yuki, best freaking girl. Immune to everything, you know, our God is fine. She's gonna be okay. No, Futaba is never gonna be fucking okay. I mean, goddamn. I, I can't. I really thought, you know, mm, main character bullshit would have happened. No. Uh, I'm just happy those two made up. Like, honestly, if we would have went another freaking week. With those two fighting. I would have been really pissed. I mean, uh. As far as the freaking Misa and Rin semi-fighting and Jet Girls. Even though. Have they really? Yeah, they fought before. <laughs> kind of. But not really. They haven't really had, like, arguments. But Misa has yelled at Rin. Had not made her cry, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say this now. Do not tell me if I'm right on this until we get to it. I feel like Miku, it, she's going to get a Simpho gear. Maybe not now. Maybe not in the next series. But before this series ends, she's going to get one. I don't know what color. <laughs> it probably will be like the Pink Rangers. <laughs> I mean, because the fact is, like, out of the three, Miku seems the girliest. And here comes my dog. Uh, it seems like she's going to be pink. So don't tell me if I'm right, okay? Just, just keep your comments to yourself. Just wait until we get there. But what if it's not a gentleman? What if it's <laughs> Right! You see, 
I mean, there are the type of women who are like, fuck it, let me get in my work. Mm, yeah. Yeah, one day she's going to tell you her whole freaking story. The fact that this woman is possibly a traitor, she could be lying like Daiki from Monogatari. Like, honestly, I feel like between her and Daiki, I can't, Kaiki, I can't trust either. Is he maybe visiting a family member or friend or some stuff? But then on, shouldn't you also be getting ready for your life? But because of the fact is that you got hurt, that's be postponed. Oh, no, Chris. Yeah, of course. That's who he's going to go see. <laughs> okay, see, she my type of girl immediately. Intruder coming. The fuck. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Are we saying that she's their daughter? I mean, that would kind of make sense. It's like, okay, hold up. No, because Chris kind of really knows about her past and the fact that, you know, adults have fucked her up ever since she was little. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, that is her, everything that he's saying. I mean, and I get that, you know, yeah, you don't want to trust adults. I get that, you know, Persona 5 up in that bitch. But still, there are some good adults in the world. Not every adult is corrupt. Yeah, because that lady took her. Hmm. I honestly thought she was going to do like the pity mitt thing where like, oh no, I don't need anybody to help me. I don't want anybody to help me. There we go. Damn it, Chris! I love her, but for Christ's sake, she's so damn hard at it. I just need one. One adult. You can't count him because he'd be a fucking teenager. But one to just show her that they're still good in adults. I get the fact that she don't want to trust them. Hell, I don't trust some adults even my age sometimes. But still. 
You just gotta feel bad for her. I literally can see why some of you say that she is best girl for this damn series. Now I want to know who's the worst girl for this series, too. <laughs> Are we really gonna go on a date? I mean, because, like, even though I like Chris, I still like Subasa, because, you know, Subasa. No, I like that, No. I know, right? That's why I hate cream machines and the you lose all your money. Can we literally talk about that? That stuffy animals look like a little bit like Pikachu from Pokemon slash Kiro from Cardcraft to Sakura. Literally, this mu this freaking light novel in a nutshell. Read this series. No, Subasa. <laughs> Why am I getting Yuki Unifields all over again? Oh my god! Does he just imagine like Chris with him? Oh my god, I see Why do I also feel like Kanata is going to come back in like some weird way, shape, or form? I've been thinking that like ever since episode one. And I'm not talking about like in flashbacks or anything. Like they they're going to do something to bring that woman back. I don't know how. I don't know when. But it's going to happen. Just that weird feeling that I get like in my heart. Well, leave me on.
I'm gonna feel like something bad is gonna happen. It's gonna be off of someone all over again. It's okay. Main characters are always late. These girls are so fucking far ahead of us, not even funny. See, hold up, my child. Are you sure? Like, sure, sure, sure. Like, goddamn, I don't want you to get hurt. You ain't gonna get killed, but still. I think this is the only maybe like what 2D anime that could really do a really good idol moment with it. I mean, because think about it right now. Out of all the 3D shows, well, no, 2D shows with 3D animations for idols, they're good. But then you got to go back and look at some of the 2D shows. I think this is the only good one because I can't remember any other damn show that was 2D all the way and them doing dancing. And it just looked wonky to me like it's it not as good i don't know like maybe before love live did the cgi maybe i don't know it's been a really long time since i've seen like a 2d one so it's Okay, now go to the concert because you're already late. Also, this Tony guy, I don't trust him. Like, you know how I didn't trust that one character from Carry on Tuesday? It's like that. Yeah, you're gonna say no, right? But no one hurts. She might say yes because it's a good opportunity for her, though.
That was Kanade, right? Yeah, this gives me way too many AK feels. <laughs> There's some 48 feels and I love it. It's just too much. Oh my god. Ah, uh, I miss that show so much. <laughs> I miss my old channel, damn it. Ah. Uh, fuck YouTube. <laughs> Because, you know, somewhat deep, 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 deep inside of yourself, you actually like Hibiki. Maybe. Like, like, no. No. I mean, it, it's still a little weird for, you know, Chris to, like, essentially help them out at times. I, I mean, because imagine if she didn't, Hibiki would have been on her own for this episode, and then I think she would have fucked up. But, I mean, I'm glad he, he was like, no, don't let Subasa stop her concert for me. Because, you know, she already got hurt last time. She had to postpone her concert. And now, you know, she has to postpone date. And then it would have been messed up if she had to tell her fans once again. Hey, we got to postpone it again. Imagine, like, if it was... Um, I'm trying to think of, like, my favorite artist. Like, mm, Paramore. Or, like... Green Day or any other band that I listen to or any other types of music that I listen to if they had to. Uh, I mean, yeah, I would be hella pissed but I'd be like, alright, that's fine. At least I get free tickets. That's good. But I mean, the episode really went by freaking fast. Like, one minute we were at five minutes then we was at, like, the date and now we're at the end of the episode. The date was sweet, though. I mean, it was weird to have... I, do I really consider it a date, though? Because it was, like, it wasn't two people, it was three. Yeah, I kind of really consider that more like a friend outing, just hanging out and such, rather than a date, because if it was just Tsubasa and Yubike, yes, that would have been a date, but it was Tsubasa <laughs> That's not a date! Maybe if, you know, whenever Chris is nice, then yes! That's when it's going to be a date, because... I don't know, like, I I'm kind of shipping Chris with Hibiki. I do ship Hibiki with her best friend, of course, because of that damn picture that I saw last week and it was the best thing ever. But then I also ship Hibiki with Subasa, so it's, like, way too much. Because it used to be, like, a triangle, a, a square. It it's gonna be like this. Just squiggly lines everywhere. And there's gonna be too many girls, and they're all gonna be in love with each other, and I'm just gonna be like, mm-hmm. There you go. But, I mean, mm -hmm too many feels with this episode, especially with the fact is that you start the damn episode in a flashback showing me Kanade and the, just the, the relationship that those two had, the connection, their friendship, and then you just, you know, in the back of your mind, you still say, hey, remember, but like, damn, Kanade is dead, and you know, seeing this, I'm happy, but then at the same time, it fucking hurts, because it, it's just like, bitch, you dead! You ain't coming back, or is she? But she's dead. And like I said, ultimately, I really do think, like, I have, like, nothing to go, like, to prove that she could come back. It's just, all I have is just a weird feeling. And sometimes my feelings are accurate. Attack on Titan. Um, and sometimes they're not. But it, it just happens. It's just a big old guess. And I'm not gonna know. Unless somebody comes into the freaking comment section and be like, oh, hey, you know, um, I'm gonna make this really long message, but then I'm gonna put all this enter and, like, put this space so that you don't read it, so that eventually when you're, when it's time to, you can come back to this episode and read it. I, I really feel like somebody's gonna do that. Or it's just gonna be a really long passage of, like, anything unnecessarily that is possibly going to happen later on in this series. I mean, it could be. I, I just want Kanata to just, like, if it doesn't happen, like, I don't think it's going to happen by season one. I could say maybe, like, I think it's five seasons for this show. Maybe season three. 
where like her spirit is in, they might do something from suck it's fucking Sora online I don't know where she comes back spiritually and then eventually they're like oh hey we found a way to put Kanade back in her body or into somebody else's body kingdom hearts up in this I really don't know but they're probably it's gonna be because of science that's the reason why at the end of the day it is all because of science and, and, and something's gonna happen something's gonna happen I mean I, I don't know you guys know? I know nothing. Okay, go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. So are we probably focusing on Cena today? Oh, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, shit, people at her house. I don't think she's going to die, though. Is that what's her back? Yeah, it is! Oh! Bitch, what the fuck? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Before... Let, let's just say this real quick before we continue on this. What if Fine and her are the same freaking person? Something about la, 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 la. I you know I ain't got nothing to go on. I'm gonna be like this with fate, with freaking um Ishtar and her sister and how they freaking change and stuff. If if that is true, I swear to God, this got she's got to be the same freaking person. You didn't you fucking cried? Why would you do that? I wanted to know what she was gonna do, but then you're like, <laughs> no, you have to watch the damn episode to find out what the hell is gonna happen. And it's like, no, you could just tell me in the first few minutes of the episode. Why? Oh my god. I swear to God, if it's that, <laughs> if it is what I think it is, Cody, oh my God, boy, baby boy, You're, oh my God, my hair, can't you go play or lay down, go lay in your bed, do you want to say hi to everybody, is that what you want, it's going to be hard because of the fact that, you know, you're going to be, like, probably cropped, so look, 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 no, 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 Look at the look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Say hi. Say hi to everyone. No 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 no. Say <laughs> You're the one who wants to come up here. Say hi. Say hi to everyone. Yes. Okay. Now you look you've been voted off. Lay on my bed. I'm hungry. I want some stir over there. <laughs> So really, that y'all ain't gonna go, oh, are y'all? Oh, you serious? You probably gonna make me wait until the end of the episode, aren't you? You are. You are. I know you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta wait until the damn rest of the freaking episode. Probably even the last three episodes. It is weird that it's only been two months. I thought it would be like six months. Okay. She's still there, right? Of course not.
Thank you. I knew it. <laughs> you can't always trust women. Right under your fucking nose, too. Very, very smart. It's just, you know what the funny thing was? It's just something about her just did not seem right to me. Even though, like, I love her as a character. I just, like, every single time when I looked at her, I was like, no. I, I feel like she's hiding something. About a boom, but a bing, but a bang, mother effer. It's just right there. You only hate them because they did so many bad things to you. Mm -hmm. And then you'll meet more adults who you become friends with, and you'll find someone who you can really trust. Ultimately, because I feel like she's going to trust him first, he's going to be the one to kind of make her see that adults are not that bad, essentially, because of the fact that he is protecting her. Okay, she good now? Like, yes? Yes, yes! Do you want to stay here just in case she comes back? I mean, that would be a really smart thing to do. And then you could just straight up kick her ass and just saying. Yeah, look at her catching and, um... Yeah, because she got shot. <laughs> yeah, we're broken, all right. Yeah. Yeah, because she's the bad guy. See, look at that hair. Look at that. Look at that hair.
bullshit. Right there. You and Kiki from Monogatini. Oh my god. Then, okay, hold the fuck up. Let me ask this. How in the world is she able to change her hair from light to dark? She ain't doing what Ishtar and her sister doing in fate when the light change up in that ish. No. But wouldn't you think that Roka would also like hack her system or something like that? Uh, okay, never mind. I mean, because she is there and it's always wondering how she could always be one step ahead of them at the same time. Even though, yeah, she's there and she's pretending to be good, quote unquote, and things like that. But I mean, the girl is smart. Yeah, because, you know, it's not your time to get a simple gear yet. Not yet. It's only season one. You know, just like Iron Man. Mm -hmm. This is it. Yeah, this is, just, you know, by the end of this, he, he's going to die. She's going to get upset. Something's going to happen. We all know it. It's gonna be the last time we're gonna see each other before she goes on nine. I don't want that to happen. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. Why I do that to myself? Wouldn't it just be better if one of them went and the other one went somewhere else? But it may have happened. Let me guess, Ropa? Mm. I mean, she's got to be around here somewhere. I know she, like, <laughs> got shot up, but still. I mean, come on. Bad guy. She's got to be somewhere close watching them.
Well, yeah, because it's only like two of y'all. I'm like, <laughs> you're outnumbered. Now, if Chris was here, then yeah! But no, it's just you two. Mm-mm. That could be Chris. My bitch is still hard headed, but I'm guessing, you know, season two was when, you know, she's going to be a little softy, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. Hard headed is so good. I'm hard headed too. Oh my god, Chris, remember, teamwork, girl. You can't always do everything by yourself. Also, I've been wanting to say this for a while, but whoever voices Chris, she does like a really damn good job for her. I mean, goddamn. But you're not alone. You have those two now. Well, I mean, yeah, that's a good question right there and there, but I mean. There's that Madoka love right there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Billy, listen to me. I'm a god. Let's just be friends. <laughs> like, honestly, Hibiki is literally Futaba. <laughs> Futaba and, like, a little bit of Madoka, like, together. But kind of more Futaba. <laughs> But she is lazy. Uh. She has a little bit of tongue, too. So she don't have anger issues towards a guy. I mean, hold up. Keep let me just say this real quick. There is no way in hell Chris would die. She's the best girl. Best girls can't. Well, no. Let me take that back. Best girls can die. Yes. It's happened before. But, I mean, Chris ain't gonna die. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm just gonna say right now. Chris is gonna survive this whole fucking series. All three of these three are, are going to. Now, maybe whoever comes after these three... They might die. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I feel like Miku, Miku gonna make it to the end. But then maybe every, anybody after Miku, they might die.
you know, one thing I'm, not, I'm also going to say, is it weird that I kind of think Chris is a little more OP than the other two? I mean, they're all OP in their own special way, but Chris? Well, yeah, not now, but there's going to be a point where you're going to be comrades and then, yeah, you're going to hug. Just because you're not a hugger now doesn't mean you're going to be a hugger later. Hmm? Nope. See? This is why Miku should have won with you. I had to see. No, we, we don't do this. Her girlfriend's now being under attack, and now she's got to go to school to go save her waffle. Oh my god, why are you doing this? Like, no. What the fuck? Are you serious? No. Oh my god, so you're telling me. She didn't even make it to the underground facility. No, maybe, maybe. Go save your girlfriend, please. I, I swear to god. This is, here we go. It's coming. It's coming. We're going to see that from episode one all over again. The grave. She's going to die protecting her girlfriend. That is exactly how this show for season one is going to end. Dying, protecting the one you love the most. Oh my god, no. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Like, literally, the conversation that they had in this episode. This is going to probably be the last moment where they've had the art to art. Literally saying, I love you, even though they didn't say, I love you, but in the way they did. This is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> episode 11, 11, 13. Something's gonna happen, and I'm not gonna like it. Broca's finally gonna, you know, come out as Fine, which is, I'm guessing is gonna happen, but. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oof. Oof. I don't like this, and I gotta wait until, like. <sighs> Thursday, Friday to watch this because I got to take my hair out. I don't know when I'm going to be able to watch this. What the freak? Are you serious? Oh my god. But I'm happy that those three were able to work together. And slowly but surely, I feel like it's not only really, really everybody who is kind of around Chris, they're slowly but surely chipping her wall where she can trust people and adults and everything. So I'm guessing by like whenever, you know, she gets her official best girl badge which is officially in season two when what i'm guessing uh that's when her wall is officially going to be down she's going to be able to trust everybody she's going to be able to make friends with so many people and then she's going to smile and she's going to look so freaking beautiful smiling because you know you're prettier when you smile instead of always looking grouchy and pissed off and everything and yeah i mean i hope that she has Good friendship with these girls, even though right now she's like, you know, big old fuck you. Like, I don't give a shit about you, but secretly you do, you do. Because, you know, you haven't really had friends, my child. You've had Fine. And Fine ain't really a friend. Fine is like really you, you know, that that's your um that's your master, that's your dominant, you the sub and ish. And um Yeah <laughs> Yeah So okay, hold up. Here's one thing I wanna say because since I'll be watching the last three episodes together, um, between this week going on into next week, is she gonna die? Is Fina gonna die? Like, Roko? Is she never gonna come back? Or are they, well, no, because y'all ain't gonna tell me anything until I watch it. But I feel like either, yeah, it's gonna be one of two ways. She's gonna die, and then we're gonna have someone, another villain who's even greater than her, or an organization, and stuff, the person that she was talking to on the phone, or two... She's not going to die. They're going to take her down to the underground bunker. They're going to lock her up. And eventually, when we get on to the next villain for season two, essentially, and they need to know inf more information about it, they're going to go to her, maybe, because of the fact is that she's technically in cahoots with them. I'm not 100% sure. But because of the fact is, like, it's so weird that this woman, 
and, and like in the back of my mind and especially with the fact is that the way they had her especially with like the the, uh, the dynamic of her voice always changing and then now seeing it at the beginning of this episode and being like yeah she's feeding there were times where like I questioned it in my head, but then I was like, no, 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 no. It was like, even when the moment where I was like, oh, she looks so pretty with her hair down. I kind of questioned as well, too, especially when we saw Fina for the first time. Then I kept thinking, no, 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 no. But in the back of my mind, I was like, yeah, that's got to be her. I was like, you can't trust someone like this, you know, because everybody lies about something and mm, lied about something indeed. But I don't know. I mean, I don't necessarily want her to die because I do like her as a character, even though she is a bad guy. But I feel like she'll be necessary for other seasons, possibly. I I'm not 100% sure. Y'all know. I don't know anything. Who knows? I mean, maybe she might not die and she'll be here until the end of the series and she'll be needed for other things. But that could necessarily really be anything because I don't know anything. Well, I know stuff, but I don't know, like, literally anything. Like, the not the lore of it. I would say, like, anything that's going to happen from season two to the end of the series, especially. But, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice episodes 9 and 10 of Simpa Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for the finale. I hope that this finale does not make me cry. I, I feel like it is. I am going to be emotional with it because of the fact is it is the last three episodes of season one and literally anything could happen. Um, so I think, yeah, number one, we're going to have the point where he, he dies Two, Miku's going to get upset. Uh, Chris might get upset. Subasa might get upset. Hell, everybody might get upset. You ever know I'm going to get upset. Uh... I feel like Kanade is going to come back in some shape or form with one of these episodes, really more spiritually, to kind of really protect Hibiki? Maybe? I, I don't know, but well, I'm, I'm not really going to know until next week. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!